but risk. <laughs> this is Tony Chalikas and his fiance Holly. You don't have a lot of short sleeves that fit you right now. <laughs> and they're getting married in July. We've been engaged since uh, 2016. But their walk down the aisle will only be symbolic. Tony refuses to make it legally official. I can't let her sign the paperwork yeah, until this is done. And it's because of another man. This man, Jorge Campos Ramirez. It's a sensitive topic. We asked Tony about it separately. No, this isn't some messy love triangle. It's a tax triangle. One of identity theft that's messed with Tony's life for a decade. In a word, what's it been like trying to get this resolved? Hell, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So how did this start? Well, in 2003, Tony lost his wallet. I was a dumb kid and I kept my social security card in my wallet. Then in 2006, during a traffic stop, Tempe police found Jorge Campos Ramirez had Tony's information on a pay slip. When questioned, he said that that time slip card was his. Ramirez admitted to using Tony's name and social security number for work. He claimed someone sold him the information. Tony Talikas is the victim of identity theft. Yes, absolutely. But Tony says it's not just Jorge Ramirez. At least 17 different people have my ID. 17? At least. There's a guy in California right now that ha is using it at a bar. People earning money using Tony's identity, but not paying enough taxes. The IRS seizing his bank accounts and dumping him with huge bills. This one's for 9000 Here's one for 25000 That was 16 Here's one for 11 That actually almost 12 and they want all this money right away. This is a nightmare. Yeah, it really is. Tony even has a lawyer, but for years they haven't made a dent getting anywhere with the IRS. They want their money. That's their interest. They yeah, they don't care about me. He may have a point, and here's where it gets scary. In this internal report, it says from 2011 to 2015, the IRS identified almost 1.1 million people who were employment-related identity theft victims, but those victims weren't notified. What fixes this for you? Honestly, uh, another social security number. Let me start over. A fresh start for him and his future wife. Until this gets solved, we can't really move on with the rest of our lives.